all right so in this video i'm going to show you how to get the tiktok developers login kit api so with this api you can um you can allow your users log into your mobile app or your web app with their um, tiktok accounts with their tiktok credentials and then they just you just have that button login with tiktok on your site and then it's just easy so for you to do this first of all you have you, you need to have a developer's account on tiktok so what you do is go, go to developers.tiktok.com let's dive right in developers.tiktok right. here you go so if you do not have a developer account you would have to create an account so i already have an account so i won't be asked to log in come here you click on get started and then you create an account but I've already, I'm, I'm already logged in, so I'll be asked to create a new app. So after creating an account, you just have to click on Get Started. And then you integrate your app. So first things first, you have to choose an icon for your app. And then we'll do that. Let us use something like this. Okay. And then you choose your app name. Let us, what do we use? Let us use Healy's. Okay. So Healy doesn't exist. We're just using it for the test. And then you click on start. Okay. So you fill in this form. And then you watch the application status. All right so for helis the platform are we going to be using it on the web is it a web app or a mobile app let us use a web app and then our application name is helis our official website let's say helis io the description helis for all okay privacy policy helis dot io slash privacy this should be on your website you just put the link to your to this page is your privacy policy page on your website sorry https please use the https www the full link to your site and then category Let's choose any of these categories. Let's say utilities. Okay. Utilities, terms of service. Please. Dot term. Sorry. Dot IO slash terms. Callback URL. Okay, slash callback then the redirect domain now you have to choose a a slug or a url something like red or redirect so that so that when users click on your on that button login with tiktok this this becomes a slug for them to authenticate and login with tiktok before they are sent back to your mobile app so we'll just we'll just use https www.elise.io slash redirect or you can use red if you want i like to use red where you can use redirect and then wait okay that way user basic information so what do you want to get from tiktok with this user basic information you can check their profile and their username and that's all then with the video list if you if you check this button it means that you can you can get a list of their videos on tiktok 
as you can get a list of their videos on tiktok you can read their videos on tiktok and with this when you check this it means that okay you can allow them upload videos from your mobile app or your web app to tiktok the that's the share to tiktok function so would okay let's say we need all of them or we need only this we just want to be able to go through their tiktok videos so they can import their tiktok videos from tiktok to our mobile app let's our web app rather so let's ask for this we want them to be able to make videos on your web app and share to tiktok or send to their tiktok profiles you can check this also so reason we and our users to be able to use tick log into our web app so that's it when you are done you click on submit it is as easy as that the moment you click on submit your The moment you click on submit, you have to wait for approval. Okay. Okay, it said uh, redirect domain contains prefix. We weren't supposed to add this. Okay. Submit. All right. So you wait for approval. Okay, um, I think something's wrong here. Let's see. Okay, let us just leave it at healies.io and let's see if that works okay all right so our request has been submitted and then please view your developer portal for your current status so let's go check our developer portal is up here and then you see application status it's under review of course they will not they will not approve this because this is a test so they are going to check those links and make sure those links are working so on your web app make sure those links are already working and then you can apply for a tiktok um login kit api so with this api they'll, they'll you your users will be able to to log into your mobile app with their tiktok account so that is it